In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use image textures in Blender. We're going to be using Cycles Render, and let's, let's set up some lighting just to make sure that we can see our image properly. Now let's go ahead and zoom in on our cube, and I'm going to split the screen so I can see my cube on the left side and then see what nodes we're using on the right side. So let's add a material for our cube. And we can see I've added some nodes here. All right, here's where we add in our image. So we'll go to Texture, Image Texture, and we'll connect them. And now if we come over to the cube and go to Rendered View, you can see the cube shows up as purple. Uh, so it, it knows it's supposed to add an image texture, but it doesn't know which one to add. So let's go to Open. I'm going to use Wood Floor Texture. This is something I found off of Google a little while ago. Open Image. And it's close, but this isn't exactly what we wanted. There's one more step. So we're going to go Add, Input, Texture Coordinate. And we're going to make our vector generated. See, it shows up. So one thing to note, the top appears correctly. However, the sides look stretched. So this technique really only works for flat images. Um, we want a little more control over our image here. So let's go ahead and add in one more node. Uh, this is very. This is a very helpful node. Uh, we'll go to Vector Mapping. Add that in, and we can see the wires connected automatically. Nothing changed here. However, we can tweak a lot more settings now. We can change the X location and the Y location. Uh, the Z really doesn't do anything in this view. Um, however, we can change the Z rotation, which will actually rotate our image however we want. Um, if we change our Let's go back to zero here. We change Y to 90 degrees. We can see the image shows up correctly on the side, but not on the top anymore. So that, that might come in useful. And the scale as well. Scale uh, tells us how many tiles actually show up. So let's go two, and two, and you can see the image is pasted many times. Now if you had a seamless texture, uh, you wouldn't be able to see these seams right here. But since my wood image texture isn't, uh, you can actually see how many images are, are pasted there. Last thing to note here, if you did want to use a box and you did want it to look correctly on the side, you can come over here and change the projection from flat to box. And we can see it shows up correctly now on the sides. So this is just a quick intro. There's a lot to learn. Um, so I hope this helps you get started. Thanks for watching.